Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to yet another video. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Sorry, Charlie. Hold on. Let me just adjust this slightly. Wait. How do I? How do I make this app? Okay. <laughs> Today we're doing one of my favorite off-meta builds, possibly of all time. In all honesty. Now, there's like ones that I think like don't work quite so well that are still fun to do, but this is one that you'll probably have seen multiple times. Oh God, he's okay. Wait. That's so bright, dude. Up you go, Charlie. No? Oh, dear God. Oh, okay. There's some there's some builds that don't work quite as well as others, but this is one that I think can be like a, 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 a barrel of laughs. Could be a lot of fun as well as like actually being pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's like meh exactly, but it's certainly one that I've seen people do quite a lot. I've done myself and it's still one of my favorites and that is like the nuclear missile Amumu. The grenade Amumu, where like if you hit somebody full AP and you manage to get a bandage toss on them, they will explode and uh, you do a bajillion damage onto them. The enemy team are like pretty, yeah, they're full AD, pretty much. So I think like what we'd be wanting to go is uh, something along the lines of uh, Zonya's Hourglass, maybe some Ninja Tabby. Haven't fully decided quite yet though, but that seems to be like the maneuver that we're looking at just now. So yeah, uh, this is obviously not, this is not recorded on Twitch this time. We're doing this um, just for YouTube. I don't know why I, I tend to like flip between them. I feel like it definitely should be a case of me like picking one and rolling with it. Sometimes I'm, I do the ones where it's like live, but I commentate like it's not and then put it on YouTube and other times I like to just have it be just between you and I. Maybe it's because I'm lazy. I, I, don't, actually, I don't think that is a lazy. I don't think I don't think lazy is the operative word here, but nevertheless, like I just wasn't, you know, it's it's been a weird, a weird couple of days or a weird week at least. We've had quite a busy week uh, on the merch side of things and um, trying to like sort out couriers and all that jazz because they're still being difficult with this. On top of that as well, I think like yesterday, I think I was awake for a grand total of maybe uh five hours possibly and then i slept like 19 out of the 24 hours of a day which is not ideal but also was a pretty good day <laughs> i don't know i was just uh I, I can't even i don't even know why i have no idea what happened i'll be honest with you i have no idea what was going on but still you know it felt it, it felt good to get some some rest finally dying for it recently get going to bed at 3 a.m waking up at 7 a.m to go to the office or whatever what have you Ugh, not fun. Right, uh, so let's get our Right, um, let's get that first. Okay, we're just gonna get Stalker's Blade. We actually don't have nearly as much money as I thought we would. But that being said, it's not the biggest deal in the world. There's potential in the waters here, actually. The question is, how hard do they, they go for this? Oh my god, they botched that so hard, it's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, oh, what happened? How, how did that happen? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, he nailed it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw him coming. I might have well waited. Oh, he played right into my hands there. Did I get anything reset there? I got blue buff reset and everything, dude. <laughs> yeah, partner. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Can I maybe get dragon here? I don't know. It depends if it's warded or not. I'm going to go ahead and see. It probably is warded. Nevertheless, we're making the move. We're making the risk. I'm actually realizing this is a terrible, terrible idea, but... Cause I also don't have flash, so this is this is not good. No, let's 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 uh, let's 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 uh, let's leave. Let's leave. How about that? Did they even have it warded? They don't. She just happened to run down because Victor wasn't anywhere near the lane. Very unfortunate. No, this this build. Uh, I think like we have some queer options for which we can itemize. I think like having that um that that armor come out would be a fantastic maneuver. I'm I'm kind of sitting here wondering like is it worthwhile going for the ninja tabby as well just to like really offset the 80 damage that's going to be coming out from the enemy team and and I will say it's it's absolutely no small number of, small amount of damage that's going to be coming out from them like Kiana does a lot of damage uh, Kazix a lot of damage Trinir a lot of damage Zaya decent amount of damage I mean it's an ADC but still decent damage so like I don't think we should um underestimate this team by any stretch even if they are full ad like even if we even if we can, we have got queer you know rules for what we want to be building i think it would be stupid to be like okay you know we're gonna go for the source sorcerer shoes anyway even though none of them are going to be building mr 
Therefore, like, the penetration isn't as bad or as necessary. And it's going to be a stupid move. You know what I mean? And I do that plenty of times. I mean, it's like, it's like uh, you could build a voice staff, but if none of the enemy team are actually building magic resistance, is there, like, any... I mean, yeah, sure, you can you can maybe penetrate and get some, like, almost true damage going on here. But it, there becomes a point where, like, it becomes less optimal to go for the, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the pen when they have a certain amount of MR, right? That's just the way it works. That's just the way she goes. Kha'Zix is coming towards me. So I need to be kind of careful here, actually, because I could very well die. Right, we have ulti. Um, I think Kha'Zix may end up actually coming in on balling right now. 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a genius. What can I say? And he is dead. Okay. And that should be another one dead as well. Janna, there we go. Hello, Janna. Okay. Take that. <laughs> right. Kind of is what it is there. I don't think I can do dragon, I'll be honest with you, so I'm just gonna back here. Soraka very close to death, I will say. Right, let's get runic echoes. Boots as well. Top lane, it's gonna be a bit of an issue to kill here. Uh, I mean, I, I, I honestly would have thought that Gnar would have done a, a lot better in that lane, but it is what it is, like, it happens. Sometimes it's really easy to, like, you probably got, like, some some really lucky crits off on that lane, and uh, Trendomir ended up, like, uh, getting a couple of picks early on. That being said, Gnar has pulled back the, 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 the CS pretty consistently. So it's really not too bad, like, it's, it's really not the end of the world. Kha'Zix has done a grand total of nada this entire game, whereas I have done more than nothing. I've gotten two kills. I guess that's one thing that, like, as far as jungle is concerned, is something that I maybe need to, like, write down in the ledger is, like, something that's worth learning. Sometimes I'm like, is it more, is it, will I actually earn more value, like, of money from straight up, um, like, farming, or would I earn more from like trying to um get kills you know what i mean so it's like it's, it's, a, it's a strange one for me oh i thought i had flash <laughs> i did not have flash <laughs> um yeah that, that's just a, that's just the thing for me right that's the thing that I, i'm not i'm not sure about i suppose i think i could yeah i think that's yoink <laughs> yoink hello there okay right that's <laughs> They're just handing me kills. They're just handing me. They're just handing me kills, dude. There's another one here. No, there's no not another one here. I'll tell you what, though, I will, I will go ahead and drop that right there. Let's see if I can, we can get the uh, Trinimir come mid. Gold, always believe in your soul. You've got the power to blow. You're indestructible. Always believing. Oh dear. Maybe I leave. Maybe I leave this one. Should maybe get. Can I get that? Can I get that? Oh, oh, I was in range for it. I didn't really want to risk it. It is what it is. You know what? Uh, generally speaking, I reckon you want to go for this, right? You want to you want to go for the despair level second. However, I'm actually gonna go for the straight cooldown on the uh, the Q, the bandage toss. I want to be able to fly at people. I want to be able to give them a smack. Not that we're not giving them smacks as is. Currently, there are smacks being handed out left and right, left, right, and center. But I'd like to hand out more smacks. For instance, Kha'Zix is top side right now. Kiana's missing though, granted, but we probably could get this dragon uncontested. Actually, I tell a lie. They've, they've certainly warded it. Right, and the question is, Kiana ulti, is it going to hit me? See, I've got like 10 seconds until, um... Right, let's see here. Five, 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 right, I just need to focus on getting this, really. There we go. Okay, pog, pog, pog. I could have flashed that, but I don't know. It, just didn't, it didn't seem right to try and get that down. <laughs> we got 2k as well. I'm wondering like can I just blow them up? Is that like how this is gonna work? Oh no! Whoa! Soraka healed me as well. I got ex- <laughs> I got executed. Oh my. That's not good. Well that is good. That is literally the best case scenario. I mean the best case scenario would have been that I lived, right? But second best case scenario is that we get executed. I reckon we go with this. We go big moves right now. Big moves. Big, big, big moves. So we're going to go for the... We're going to get a Dark Seal. We're going to get a DC Large Rod. I'm thinking we just... You know what? We throw caution to the wind. Bot lane is not an issue. Their, their jungler is not a major issue. We, I'm, I'm fairly convinced I can just blow Kha'Zix up, right? So I'm thinking... Eh. It is what it is, right? We go full AP. We go big, big, big damage. Big boy damage. That was not the greatest ult I've ever seen from a Kiana. Unfortunately. Oh, hold on there. Oh, I missed him. What is going on here? Huh? They coming in on me right now? I don't know. 
15 seconds till my ulti's back up. Maybe make something happen here. I mean, if I can get a big ulti down, then that is just like, they're immediately, if I can, I mean, if I can just catch them with the Q, then they're kind of dead. Kind of botched that one a little bit though. <laughs> uh, the hero minions, dude. The hero minions, always persevering. Right, Gazix is super duper dead. I wonder. Okay, well that certainly works. She was like way tankier than I could have, like what? I thought I'd kill her, like just straight up kill her. It didn't really work out that way though. She took, she like put up a fight, which is absolutely fair, right? All right, maybe I, maybe I back off here. <laughs> maybe I'm actually a little bit scared. Oh, it's so tempting. It's so tempting to dive that, but I'm not gonna do it, what up? Oh, we didn't get the tower. I was a little bit scared to like go in there because I didn't want to end up like my despair hitting her or something and then I end up just tanking a bajillion bits of terror, and then Janna knocks me up and does a backflip, and then all this and da 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 da. da. Amumu is such like a bizarre champion. Like he, his kit is so like old and clunky, but like I do, he is one of these champions I still like have a major blast pulling. Right? I don't, I don't, I don't quite get why. It's hard to describe because like an Amumu that's fed that is going AP for whatever discernible reason is like a nightmare to play into. Right? There's no two ways about it. Hold on. Actually, Cena. Actually, I don't have ulti up. Uh, maybe risky. Four, three, two. Is that, mm. He's already moved. It's okay then. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. I am here. Watashi ga kita. Boom. <laughs> Thank you, China. Appreciate it. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. What she got? Oh, she got. Um, that explains why she was harder to kill than the the thing, dude. That explains everything. I'm sitting here like, why is she so tanky? And as it would turn out, it's because she has got um, a Maw of Marmorius. Rushed a Maw of Marmorius. She was building that before she realized that I was going like fully AP, right? So like, she got that just for Victor because there's not really any AP damage on the team besides that. But I, I mean, I don't really know nearly enough about Kiana to, to, to criticize the build, I suppose. But I definitely feel like that probably is not the move. You definitely like go for like, your, your I, I guess like what? Dustblade or I'm not actually sure to be honest. Ghostblade maybe? Cause you could just abuse the the grass. This is me pretending to know anything about um Keanu right now. The least hyped champion in League of Legends history. She got no hype when she came out. Right. Level eleven, level two ultimate. Pog pog pog. My blue buff's not got long, like too much longer on it. So let's just try and get as much as we can out of this. The score is a little bit one sided. Thank you very much, Kiana, on the enemy team for making suggestions for potential titles. Don't really do titles like that, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Has Janna literally just left the game? I mean, she has zero sex, I can understand that. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's fine. First time. <laughs> First time, Kiana. Okay. Fair enough. That was that was a mean spirit joke, but that being said, I think they're trying to make fun of me in chat, so I don't know. No mercy. No mercy from me. Well we got Rift Herald. Um oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I just had to let him have that one to be honest. There wasn't really any two ways about it. They just, we just had to let him have it. He going, he's zooming, dude. What the hell? What's he got? Nothing in particular. What? Was that planned? <laughs> There's no way he planned that out, right? Not a chance. Right, uh, Trinimir doesn't have bottom up. Kiana probably does, but like, who cares? Not as if she's gonna hit it. Kazix, I mean, he, he'll just get deleted anyway, regardless of how you slice it, so. Who do we kill? I mean, fair enough. That's certainly one way of doing things. I have, I respect the juke. There we go. Just take that pick. Why not? Yeet! Oh, I missed it. Oh, <laughs> wait, I still got it. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. I missed time to E as well. That was so bad. All right, time to back. Time to back. No mana. Get items. Make self look better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 stacks of mid eyes. You know what? We don't even need the armor. We don't need the armor. This game went far better than I expected it to. <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting here halfway expecting to get like slapped around. Um, maybe having to work for my food. I think the biggest thing that was like the biggest issue was 
just the the mall of my Morteus off of the off of the Kiana was like probably like my biggest issue. Beyond that, like I don't think there was much else that was tremendously an issue there. Like I I kind of like melted the the Kazakhs just a little bit. That was a decent game. Yeah, I mean, I, I, listen, see when you see if you get remotely fed on a Mumu, that's actually a bit of a rough team for it because they have a lot of things that can like juke a Mumu or they can. Uh, like Kiana can dive around it stop you stop you from getting your Q onto her Like they've got disengage off the of Janna. Zaya has her, her ultimate which like allows her to like obviously like not get hit with your R and then like Trinomir just doesn't care and then you know Kazix could juke you around with his ulti as well But like we didn't nearly have as much trouble there as I thought we would which is fantastic <laughs> Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it If you did enjoy this if you want to try it out yourself, please grab some friends and um, give it a shot in a normal game. AP and Mumu is one that's like always going to be a fun time. On top of that as well, um, we're close to 700,000 subscribers. So please, please consider giving the old uh, subscriber we know there. And have a fantastic day. See you later. Goodbye.